Today we're going to do an unboxing and quick review of the Will Model F Power Folding Wheelchair. If you watch any of my previous videos, you know that my primary wheelchair is a Will Model CI. Our journey with Will started in 2021 when we were preparing for a Disney trip. And we were trying to figure out what kind of chair for him to use because he was using manual at the time. And so we were going to rent a Will Model CI. And we did a rental at home to see if it would work out for him and immediately fell in love with the chair. We went for a walk and we went around the neighborhood and went to the CVS. And for the first time in years, he was able to go up to a store and go into a counter and buy things on his own. And I literally almost cried. Um, it was just such a big moment and such an improvement to his independence and his freedom to be able to use that chair. So we immediately you know, returned the rental and bought one that weekend because yeah. um, we just yeah. had to have it. Now we are basically opening the box to see what it does and how it is going to compare to the model CI that I have right here. It's not folding. So once you take out the styrofoam, there is an envelope here which has uh, QR codes for the user manual. And then you also have the operating guide. And I'm going to guess this large box here is the battery. Yeah, it looks like a battery, yeah. So the unit comes all one piece. Um, there is a separate box that has the controllers in it. And we have the battery box that we have not opened yet. And there's also the seat over there. And this appears to be the um, bag that, that is like your basket. And so since this is the seat and this is the bottom, I'm going to assume that you pull it this way. That was very easy. And then, hmm, give us a moment while we figure out how to unfold it and then we'll let you know. So once I flip this up, then I push on this, butt, this foot pedal down here, lift on this, and then this, there's a button over here and I slide that and then that. I guess keep going forward to the top. Ah, okay, keep going until it locks. Ta-da. Okay, so we're back. Um, that took a little while, longer than we expected. I was expecting to pull it out of the box and it just work within the next five minutes. Um, that was not the case. It came with the arms un unattached and you can make a couple of choices when you're going to attach the arms. You decide whether you want the controllers on the left side or the right side. And you also can decide whether you want there to be 16 inches of space between the controllers and the two arms or 18 inches. And so you make those choices and then follow the instructions that um, correspond to that using the big user's manual. Um, don't bother with the piece of paper that we showed earlier. The QR code was broken. The, and then we tried to type in the URL for the YouTube yeah, and it, it went to a, a dead video. So use this, this is your friend. One of the things that was very confusing to me is that you actually have to take the plastic covers off of this device. And that was the thing that I was like not understanding. And so it yeah. took me a while to realize because it just doesn't seem like you should be taking these plastic covers off. So once I realized that that was what they actually wanted, then it went more smoothly. So if you can put together an Ikea shelf, then you can handle this, but it does take some time. So give yourself some time to do that. The instructions as you read through them are a little bit wordy, but if you just take your time and be patient, you can try to figure out what they're trying to say. The battery was a little hard to seat. You really got to give it some oomph. That was a little tricky for him to do, but he did eventually get it in there. And then they actually have a battery release button. So when you take the battery out, it's not just pulling it like it is on this one. You actually have to like push a button and pull. Um, so again, that might be a little tricky for the user to do. We did purchase this on Amazon. We are also Amazon affiliates. And so if you use the link in the description below, we will get a tiny commission, but it absolutely supports the channel. So we certainly appreciate it if you uh, choose to use our link if you're considering purchasing this. We're gonna uh, get Adam transferred into the chair now and then see how he likes it, so. So if you do have any questions on it or my experience with it, just put a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I see it and tell you how it is. Excellent. Okay. The uh, Model F does have a very quiet motor. It's not very loud or anything like that. So it is um, fairly powerful and quiet so far. But also first impressions are, it's, it's different than my Model CI. 
of course, the other one is a bigger one, and it's just it's more sturdy. This one seems it, it is lighter, it's much lighter. From the time that that is the horn, which is kind of I don't know weak, but hey, that's a horn. It's not meant to be, I guess, a very loud thing. It, it, it's very light for when Brooke took it out the box earlier. She could lift it up very easily and set it down. It is a very light frame. Some of the things on there are a little bit different for me. The footrest, for me, for me to stand, I need to be like right under it. This unfortunate footrest is in the way some. And so I'm gonna need a little bit more adjusting to try to get out of this chair when I do my transfers. The This model, because it's a very lightweight model, portable model, you don't have that many um, back adjustable options. Other model is I can adjust the angle to make it better suited for my back. The cushion is very is much thinner than my normal cushion. And that for me is like, it's, well, we sit in our butts all day. So for us, we have to be comfortable. And so I put, the, I put my old one on here and it felt a little bit better. I will have to see how long-term how it goes. I would only probably use this for quick trips. For me and my personal experience, this could not be my full-time mobility device. For a quick trip to like the grocery store, um, your significant other can like lift it up, put it in the back seat of the car, has a stroller, put it in the trunk, and you can hop in the car and go. The buttons on this are much more sensitive, I would say. It's easy to turn on and turn off. The other model, you have to hold the button down for three seconds, for two seconds, for it to power on. So after quite a bit of deliberation, we decided that this would not be a chair that we would take for a week at Disney but we might use it for a weekend getaway or errands around the city, quick trips and make it easier for him to get out of the house more often, which I think is, is important. These were our quick impressions. It seems like it's got a lot of promise and we are, we're excited to try it out. Well, it's been two weeks since you got your Will Model F folding power wheelchair. And how's it going? It's been great. Having the Model F is very convenient now. Um, I had to go into my um, job and trying to get a wheelchair van is, is very, very difficult. Because I had this smaller footprint chair, I was able to call a regular Uber and the driver was able to fold it up and put it in the back of the trunk, which was like just so much better than trying to get a wheelchair van. Granted, the driver had to be able to or willing to collapse it and put it in the trunk. I had to go to the doctor and I was, I called, I put a note in my to the driver directly saying hey i need assistance collapsing this and putting it in the trunk and the driver canceled which i was like okay he didn't feel like he wanted to collapse it but the next driver i put in there the next driver i requested i put the notes in there he was perfectly fine he asked me how do i do it i told him how to collapse it he collapsed it put it in the trunk and it was great so it is very 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 one more time very very convenient and fun or easy to have this model because it makes it expands your options and places to go and things to do. They're both very similar. Um, the CI model is a little bit more rugged, I would say. The Model F is much more light frame, so it's a little bit more, a little bit lighter in terms of like trying to go um, up small inclines. You hear the motor a little bit, trying to mm -hmm. struggle a little bit, but it gets you up there. It won't be as fast as my regular model CI, but it gets me up the hill. Um, the motor is also much more quiet. So, of course, there's smaller motors on it, so it's much more quiet. Um, it's a little bit more, I guess, responsive in terms of zippiness, um, in terms of the turning, stuff like that. The wheels are slightly different. They're more caster-type wheels versus the Omni wheels on this one. But again, it's like, it's a little bit easier to get into places. I think it has the same width in terms of, like, the width, width of it. Maybe slightly smaller. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a nice, very nice to have and convenient to try to drive around in. Would you recommend it as someone's primary chair? In my opinion, it's not meant as a primary chair. It's probably just meant more as a convenient, go someplace real quick, go to the store and back type of device. It's worth noting that it's less intimidating as a chair. So if you were going to go out with friends and they could just pop it in the back of their car, whereas if you have a full wheelchair, then they might be concerned about how are they going to get that into the vehicle? Is it even right. possible? Does it come apart? Where, where, how's it gonna fit? But it, it's the size of a stroller. And so almost all, they might have to clean out their trunk, but it almost is. all cars could accommodate a stroller so they can accommodate this. And I think it has let Adam 
increases independence as just a, a second chair and to be able to do quick trips and just be, you know, when, when you need to pack light, this is the chair for that. Yeah. But yeah, so overall, I think if you were looking for a nice, convenient travel chair, the Model F will probably be a great choice in addition to your chairs. Aesthetics is nice and sleek. It's not dinged up yet, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. It's a great choice, I think, if you have the option to try to get the Model F. Um, nice, light, convenient, yeah. Awesome. Highly recommend. And uh, look for the link in our description. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. We talk about life with a disability as well. We do a lot of travel content right now because we're kind of on a travel kick, but we are mm -hmm. also planning to talk about general life things Stuff. as well. And so if you have questions, feel free to put it in the description. And, you know, here at Imaginary Lemons, we talk about creative problem solving. You know, sometimes life forgets to give you the lemons entirely and you still have to make the lemonade. So with Imaginary Lemons, it requires a lot more creativity, determination, and style. And that's what we do here. So if you're interested in this content, please subscribe and like our video.